This is 25 News. Crowds are already starting to gather on both sides of the river for tonight's Red, White and Boom fireworks display. Good evening and happy Independence Day. I'm Lizzie Siles. Thank you for joining us. Madison Porter joins us now in East Peoria with a preview. Madison. Hi, Lizzie. It's pretty packed here on the East Peoria Riverside, and everyone is decked out in their best 4th of July gear. I talked to one family from Bartonville who's been coming to the riverfront for the Red, White, and Boom for the past eight years. They spent the first couple on the Peoria side, but moved over to the East Peoria side for the last six. They've got four generations worth of family members and some friends that all spend the afternoon down here. They staked their spot out at 8 o'clock this morning and then brought the food, cornhole, and spike ball down around noon after the rain went away. Have all of our stuff, do our own space, bring our own thing, and just kind of hang out. And it's pretty cost effective, right? It doesn't cost us anything to be together, so that's pretty legit. Jessica tells me before her family started coming to the Red, White, and Boom, they would travel around the country to find a good fireworks show, including St. Louis and Texas. But she still thinks Peoria's is the best. At 9 o'clock tonight, the Illinois National Guard will do a flyover to start the show off for the fireworks that start at 9.30. Live in East Peoria, I'm Madison Porter. Back to you, Lizzie.